Beautiful people, my beautiful patriots. I hope everybody is blessed, well, healthy, and that nothing but the best is going on in all you beautiful people's life. Tell them you got a good old spot on the view. You don't even got to submit your resume. They said you could just come on over, Jessica. Because we don't even watch the view in 2024. You see the title. You see what's going on, man. Y'all drop a like on the video. And hey, I hope everybody is blessed, well, and healthy. And that 2024 is our year, man. We winning, y'all. And they don't want to, they don't want to, they don't want to accept it. They don't want to accept it. Love to my beautiful Patriots, man. Let's jump straight in. Donald Trump and Joe Biden are battling over who gets the nuke codes, but the two candidates are already going nuclear on one another. President Biden launching this preemptive strike. What, in your view, constitutes the primary threat to freedom and democracy at home? Donald Trump. Seriously. Donald Trump talk, uses phrases like you're going to you sort of eviscerate the Constitution. He's going to be a dictator on day one. I can't think of any of Oh, brother Joe, get it out. Oh, it's, 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 it's Tuesday. Thursday now. It's Thursday now. It's going to be Friday, Joe. Time in my lifetime in history has occurred that you've had somebody who's had this kind of attitude. Oh, man. Kamala is backing up Joe's fear flex. Had it or hit it, Donald Trump totally had it. Had it. Had it over and over and over again. There's so much at stake in this election. I don't think it's hyperbolic to say this genuinely could be the last Democratic election we ever have. You're right. Did you just ask Kamala if she'd sleep with Trump? I think so. <laughs> I, so. I heard that. Okay. Had it or hit it? Okay. But Trump is not letting those attacks slide. The former president out in Georgia, where he's got a hero's welcome at Chick-fil-A in Atlanta and ordered 30 milkshakes for customers who apparently are not lactose intolerant like me. He unleashed the whole... Trump, I like Oreo cookies and cream. You gonna send me one? I like cookies and cream. What y'all like? Strawberry, chocolate, vanilla. Y'all like vanilla? Shout out to them beautiful patriots. They eat, they love that vanilla. You can't get away with that vanilla. That vanilla. Jessica, you don't get one. We, 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 you out. <laughs> We're going to send you over there with Joe with an uh, ice cream cone. And that ice cream cone going to be melted. That ice cream cone going to be melted. The view got ice cream cones too. As soon as you walk in, Jessica, to the left on the stand, they got an ice cream machine at the view headquarters. I seen the y'all seen the videos of the View headquarters, man. Arsenal on the Biden regime. We are a nation in decline. Biden is the worst president in the history of our country. He's corrupt and he's incompetent. He can't put two sentences together. And I think we're going to have a tremendous victory. I predict that November fifth will go down as the most important day in the history of our country. He's done more damage than the ten worst presidents in the history of our country. There has never been anybody that's damaged our country like crooked Joe Biden. Had it or hit it. Apparently, uh, Donald Trump is no Willie Brown, Dana. <laughs> um, so <clears throat> do you think, uh, they don't think it's hyperbolic uh, to say this genuinely could be the last Democratic election we ever have. <laughs> Maybe it's me because uh, I was an English major, but isn't that the definition of hyperbolic? <laughs> I think you're right. <laughs> Actually, when, and you know what? The next time we play our D block game, yeah, coming up, folks. That's a deep tease. Uh, I will have you <laughs> as my partner. Um, okay, so they have been talking about protecting democracy for a long time, right? And they've been saying all of this about Donald Trump. And I'm assuming that they did that one because they believe it, and also because it probably polls well for them mm -hmm. for their base, which they still need to lock up. But the problem is. Right now, they've squeezed all the juice out of that lemon. Mm -hmm. And President Trump and Donald, uh, sorry, Donald Trump and Joe Biden are tied on yeah. who will protect democracy. So I don't know how much more they're going to be able to do on that one. The other point is you have this really weird dynamic with Biden where in the days leading up to the State of the Union, there were leaks from his administration 
that he was going to issue some executive orders on immigration in order to get the border under control. Then, the night before the State of the Union, they said, actually, no. Yeah. He's not doing that. And it's because the Republicans didn't pass the bill. And what did we find then four weeks later? Now we are back to he is likely, possibly, maybe going to do this executive order because he realizes how bad it is. And that's how you get to a 70 percent disapproval on the border. And my last point is uh, it's the economy, stupid. And when you have an inflation report like the one you had this morning, you will get to inflation, economy. Are you better off for year than today than you were four years ago on the cost of your groceries, the cars, the gas, all of that? That's what this election is going to come down to. I think. Oh, man. Patriots, we're stomping the ground. It, she basically just said we won. Because <laughs> we know our president's going to go in there. And he's going to stomp the ground, too. Mr. Trump is going to go in there and stomp the ground. <laughs> People are sick and tired of being sick and tired of being sick and tired. Salute to the ones right now, man, that's struggling. That's going through it. That's in a dark spot. They wake up every single day and they get it done. Back against the wall. They put food on the table for their kids. Some struggle with depression, anxiety, suicidal thoughts. Some are veterans. Yeah, tons. Tons have put their life on the line on a daily basis. Tons have made the ultimate sacrifice. And what's crazy is, and what's the saddest part about it all, some could care less. They, they're not worried if they don't wake up tomorrow. That's how bad things have gotten. A lot of people right now are dying, are dying to chase the American dream. People are chasing the American dream and they're falling out like flies. That's the realest as I can put it. I love y'all, man. You know, I love y'all. God bless all you beautiful people around the world, man. I don't care what you look like. Don't care what you smell like. Don't care what your skin color is. We don't see color. My brothers and sisters, we all bleed the same. And I'm going to keep saying that, man. That's, what, that's, that's the truth. That's the truth. Whether you like it or not, that's the truth, man. I don't care how big, tall, short, skinny. I don't care what your hairstyle is. If you got long toenails or no toenails. We live in a very, very fast time travel, y'all. And people are sick and tired of being sick and tired of being sick and tired, man. And what's been going on lately, it's just, it's disgusting. You know, it, it really is. I don't mean to go on a, a, a get rant and, a rant and preach and get emotional. But y'all know I love y'all, man. And I, we call it out. We call it out as we see it, man. That's one thing about this channel and about me, my personality. You know, I'm a, I'm a humor guy, you know. But I'm going to keep it real with y'all, man. We ain't going to sugarcoat it. You see Trump get up there, he call, he, he's straightforward. Call it as you see it. No sugarcoating, you know. And what they're doing to this man is just corrupt and disgusting. You really hit it. Uh, Jesse, I'd love to go to some sound on tape. Please. Mm. And then I will come to you after that. Let's roll that, Gladys. <laughs> We're examining whether or not I have that power. There's no, there's no guarantee that I have that power all by myself without legislation. And some are suggesting I should just go ahead and try it. And if I get shut down by the court, I get shut down by the court. But we're trying to work that work through that right now. Jesse, this is an amazing comparison uh, between a leader and a and a non-leader. Uh, when China released got that virus out, you didn't hear Trump go. Let's <clears throat> talk about shutting down the border. Let's because he actually acts. This guy goes. You know, let's have a conversation. Let's uh, talk about it. Blah, 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 blah. And then and then nothing happens. And then he returns to it. This guy can't act. like like brother. It's Monday. We just it, we just, we were recording on Tuesday last Tuesday. Now it's Wednesday. I mean, get it out. <laughs> Do you want to make a change or not, buddy? 
it, y'all, do we got ice cream cones in the back? Do we got ice cream cones in the back? Act. Well, he can act when he wants to. Yeah. He acted on bailing out students for their loans, but now he's, I, I think he's just buying time because he's been debating in his head what he's been doing about this. This is just to kind of entice people to get them all excited about it. But Fun fact, I just paid my student loans. Today is. On the 8th, so yeah, a couple days ago, or what was that? Was that Tuesday, that Monday or Tuesday? But I just paid my student loans, man. I didn't get that loan, loan, loan forgiveness email. Comment down below if y'all got it. I know I seen some people in the comment to our last video say, Rick, I either paid mine all the way or I, I it took me shout out to it was a beautiful lady that, that commented down below and said it took her 10 years. She just finished up paying her, her loans back. 10 years, man. Damn. 10 years. Salute to all the hard workers out there, man. Some of y'all got, got degrees and don't even use them. And you paying back. Ask me how I know. Some of y'all went to college for one or two years. Paying back. Ask me how I know. I didn't get that loan forgiveness, man. I got a couple more thousand to go, though, y'all. We hanging in there strong, man. We got a couple more thousand to go. Well, you know, I don't regret doing what I did, man. I got the, I got an amazing opportunity. I got to learn. I got to live on my own and just see what life was through that college experience, how it was those those two years. And again, I tell y'all, man, don't regret what you've gone through. Don't regret the decisions you've made, man. It's a, it, everybody has to go down a path, a journey, you know, whether you get in debt or not. Some of us go, some of us, you know, have to go through that, that journey of being in debt, you know. It sucks. It's terrifying. And for most, it's a struggle. But that's a part of the journey, man, sadly. That's a part of the journey. Like I tell y'all, most people are dying. To live this American dream. Die. But those cameras at Univision made Joe look old. <clears throat> those were bad cameras. I would never do another Univision again. And he was squinting. I mean, he looks 100 years old yeah. in that shot. That was not a he's good He's not look. a good 80. No, he's not. That's, a, that's an old 80. Yes. Yes. He, they keep saying he's going to end democracy. And I hang around with a lot of liberals. My family's liberals. Even my mother doesn't think he's going to end democracy. This talking point only exists on MSNBC. Mm -hmm. No one ever even comes up to Johnny on the streets and say, <laughs> says Trump's a dictator or is going to end democracy. I, I've never heard this anywhere except on cable news. It's not sinking in. And if anybody's a threat to democracy, we can play that game. It's Joe Biden. I mean, his buddies at the CIA and FBI interfered in the last election. They're still blocking investigations into the Biden crimes. So if it, I, don't, I don't like playing that game. I don't think that game is effective. I agree with Dana. This is about the economy. Stupid. The Chick-fil-A event. This was an event to behold. Now, everything you've heard about Donald Trump in the press is that he's like this dangerous racist. He waltzes in there, orders food, and about a dozen African-American women flock to him and take selfies. African-American women, the most loyal voting bloc of the Democratic Party. He has them giggling. Uh, he has them lining up. Uh, he says, Mom, I'm famous now. It's it, it, all love. In the Chick-fil-A. All now, love. What did I say yesterday in yesterday's video? All love. Look, I said, look at this. And I even I even showed y'all different camera angles and different conversations that were that were, you know, that were taking place inside. Down there in Atlanta, where all the you know the corruption and, and people funny. You know, there's I me, mean, it's just ridiculous. And Trump's down there in Atlanta smiling. You know, love, he cares. Now, if he can just do this, I would run the Chick-fil-A campaign. That's a great idea. I would just go to as many restaurants, grocery stores, malls as I could Absolutely. and just have regular Americans swarm him, embrace him and love wow. him. And that is what is going to win him the election. Like Tiffany. Mm. The Lord's chicken. The Lord's chicken.
Some of y'all went through that Chick-fil-A drive through uh, earlier. <laughs> I ain't going to tell nobody, y'all. Shh. I ain't going to snitch. My beautiful patriots, I ain't going to snitch on you. I know you went through it and got that spicy chicken sandwich. Mm-hmm. You added cheese on it and everything. Some of y'all got the, the, the deluxe with the tomato and lettuce. Don't forget my Chick-fil-A sauce. What, buffalo sauce? Not that Polynesian now. Come on now. You, hey, we, 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 we go, uh, you ain't slick now. You you not slick. Mm. You know, <laughs> Tiffany? Joe wouldn't do that because he's chicken. Because he's chicken. Yes, you are what you eat. Hey, uh, Judge, so it, 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 I think the, did, uh, the VP claimed that she met with 150 world leaders and they all expressed concern mm -hmm. about That's this. Do you buy that? You oh, buy what Judge and me, baby. No, never, never have, never will. Uh, no, I, I don't even give it a lot of thought. Look, the, the whole idea, and I, I just want to continue with that theme for a minute, of, of Donald Trump being a threat to democracy. I mean, who is it that, as Jesse said, weaponized the DOJ, the CIA, the FBI? You know, they've impeached him. They've indicted him. But the, they're the ones who were taking him off the ballot. Mm -hmm. OK, it's the Democrats who made up that political dossier that they took to a corrupt FISA court by a corrupt uh, attorney general and United States attorney to try to uh, spy on him. They were spying on a candidate for president of the United States. This is done in third world countries. And by the way, I will segue very smoothly into the fact that Joe Biden has made us a third world country. Never in the history of this country have I seen people, especially in New York City, living the way they're living now, where the illegals are coming here. We're greeting them on buses. We're flying them in. They give us this false, you know, I have to, I'm being persecuted. Give me asylum. We shake their hand. We give them a goodie bag. They come in, they take a goodie bag, and they steal everything they can from CVS. They beat up the employees at Target and at uh, Macy's. Then they assault the police police resist arrest. There's a trail of destruction, economic devastation. And by the way, I don't think this issue got enough attention. Do you know that murders are down in Venezuela, the hot that more the lowest they've been in 20 years? So y'all not y'all. I don't think y'all hearing it, man. I really don't think y'all hearing it for real. Like, family, y'all hearing it, family? Please let me know if you're hearing it in the comments. Y'all comment down below if y'all hearing it, man. You know? Maybe Donald Trump isn't so wrong about people <laughs> emptying out prisons mm -hmm. because our crimes are going up and theirs are going down. And everything about what Joe Biden has done is defying the American law, whether it is entry to this country, <laughs> staying here. And obviously, we've got to not only make sure that they are bailed whenever they're arrested, but we've got to deport them. Mm hmm. You know, Jessica, in the green room, you said <laughs> that if Trump wins, it could be the end of all time and space. And what's worse, it will hurt women and minorities more. I did say that. Yes, you did. It's extreme pregnancy <laughs> fog, I guess, as I near the end of the line. Um, that was a very rich discussion. I'm going to try to address as many of the points as I possibly Just can. Just one. <laughs> a commercial break in about 30 seconds. No, 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 no. Commercial break is when... I am done with this. So <laughs> the, the threat to democracy point is not working. And all of the good pollsters have made that point very clear to the Biden administration that actually the messaging that works is about the mundane stuff that people want to hear about lowering prescription drug prices and things like the debt and the deficit and preserving Medicare and Social Security. Those are all encompassed in the economy, right? Like how you're doing and how your family's going to survive looking ahead to the future. So that point is definitely out there. But to say that Joe Biden is the threat to democracy, considering what Donald Trump and his band of lawyers tried to pull off in 2020 is complete insanity. I mean, he dispatched lawyers all over. Oh, buddy. Oh, man. Go sit her next to. Oh. Go sit her next to Granddaddy Joe and this. Both of them just sit and eat ice cream and snow cones.
over the country to overturn a free and fair election. A lot of them have pled out to doing this. A lot of them are still to face trial. And he's doing his darndest to make sure that he doesn't have to show up in any of these courtrooms because he's definitely afraid of what's going to happen there. And as many of these January 6th He's not participant, afraid of anything. All big man, not afraid, whatever. I know him. Okay, not. I'm sure you, you do know him, and I don't know him, but I don't think that that man who doesn't want to even sleep in a hotel bed wants to go to jail. So... Don't refute what happened. We know about Sidney Powell. We know about John Eastman, who just got disbarred. The Rudy Giuliani, who's obviously not in very good position, how the mighty have fallen. But the point of this interview and doing it with Univision was about Latino support, right, and making sure that he shores that up. And he's down, he was up 29 points with Latinos the first year in office, and that edge is down to nine points. And that's due to the issues of inflation and crime. He's doing better on them, but he's obviously got ground to make up. And it's interesting that this came out yesterday and we had the ruling taking us back to 1864 in Arizona about abortion because Latino votes in, in Nevada and Arizona are what are going to be really crucial there. 57% of Hispanics say abortion should be legal in all or most cases. And Donald Trump is out there defending his stance of you leave it to the states. He did say today, I won't support a federal abortion ban. He has said before that he supports a 15 or 16 week ban. So I, I don't know if he's going to be consistent with that. But the Democrats are going to make that a centerpiece of this conversation as they should. Yeah. 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 yeah that's it. Joe did not look good there. No, he looked bad. It I'm looked glad that's bad. what you took from what I said. No, I was just, yeah. Well, I, I know you zoned out. I did. I can tell I when it's happening. Think about what I was going to eat. Yeah. Click here. <laughs> Y'all drop a like, man. Give me a comment down below. God bless all you beautiful people, man. 2024 is our year. We encourage everybody to go out and vote. We are winning, y'all. We are winning. And they are mad, furious. Ah, they just can't. They can't. They can't accept it. They can't accept it, man. Yeah. I love you guys, man. God bless you beautiful people around the world. I'll catch y'all on the next one, man. Peace.